Hi everybody. In this video we're going to learn how to use two cameras at once. So in this example my main camera is my player camera. It follows the player. And the second camera is a small map camera that shows it overhead view. So let's see how this works. At the start of my script tag I'm just declaring some variables here. Constant aspect will be the aspect ratio of both my cameras. And I'm creating two variables inset width and inset height. Inset width and height are the dimensions of this overhead cam window shown at the top right hand corner. Now to create our cameras. So the first camera is going to be the main camera. It'll take up the whole screen with a view from behind the player. So it's going to be a perspective camera and I'm just using these parameters. Then I'm telling the camera where to go, moving to a Z of 10 and a Y of 2. And I'm telling what the camera to look at, so it's looking at the origin. Here's the monitor, and here's where the camera is located, and here is the origin. So the camera is pointed down the Z axis. And now we're creating camera 2, the overhead camera. I made it another perspective camera, and these are the parameters I used for this camera. And then I'm telling the camera where to go, so I'm setting its position to Y is 10, so it's 10 units above the origin. And then I'm telling the overhead camera to look at this position. So and also I have Z is minus 10. If I just put Z to 0, right, it should be looking straight down. I'm looking 10 units behind there because I moved the first camera 10 units behind Z. So to correct that, I have to put minus 10 and that will fix the problem. Now I'm looking directly over the origin. Now we're going to add this second camera, camera top, to the first camera. Camera top will become a child to camera and camera will become a parent to camera top. And then I'm going to add that camera to the scene. Alright, so after we've added everything to our program we only have two functions left. The resize function and the animate function. So let's look at the resize function. I'm calling it here because I have to call it first to get the size of the overhead map. So here's function resize. The first part of this handles resizing camera number one, the player cam, and the second part handles resizing the overhead cam, cam number two. So I'm just updating the camera aspect ratio, then I'm updating the projection matrix, and then I'm setting the size. And in the second part, here inset width and inset height are being defined as one quarter of the amount of inner height. So that means no matter what size your window is, this map viewer will always be one quarter of the height and then I'm updating the overhead camera aspect ratio and the projection matrix. And then I'm just adding an, an event listener to the window to see if it resizes and it will call this function again. Okay, after that we're going to animate in the animate function. Here I'm updating the camera position. I'm setting the camera position of that first camera, the player camera, to the player X and Z position. Except for the Z, I'm adding 10 more so the camera will always be 10 behind the player. And here I'm setting the viewport for cam number one. The first two parameters are the X and Y coordinates of the lower hand corner of the window and then the width of the window and the height of the window. So it's a full screen. It's starting here and going the full width and full height. And then I'm rendering it. Okay, So cam 2 is a little bit more complicated. So here I'm clearing the depth of the render and then I'm setting the set scissor test to true. That means only pixels in the scissor region will be affected by further renders. Anything outside of that will not be updated here. So here I have the coordinates of my set scissor region. So it goes X and Y coordinate of the lower left hand corner and then the width of it and the height of it. The width and height of this inset region was calculated in the resize function. And now I'm setting my viewport so the viewport will render the overhead cam. It, you're just passing in the X and Y coordinate of the lower left hand corner. So that's the same as this is a region. And I'm setting in the width and height of the viewport which is the same as the set scissor region. And then I'm just passing that camera and scene into the render to render. And I'm going to set the scissor test to false now so that it can render camera number one. If I set it to true, then it's only going to render in this scissor region. But I have to set it to false to switch to the other camera.